welcome to Hedgehog Hollow. Today I'm here at the Tonic Studios booth at Creativation 2019 and we have so much to show you. We've got new dyes, new Nouveau products and of course new Tim Holtz products as well. So let's go and take a look. So let's start with the craft perfect wall. So of course we have all of our amazing classic cardstock. And these are textured on one side and they're smooth on the other. So you have great versatility and a huge rainbow of colors to work with. They all come in eight and a half by 11 and 12 by 12 as well. Then we move on to our speciality cardstock. These come in an A4 size, which is kind of uh, around about the eight and a half by 11 size. They're a luxury embossed cardstock, so a really nice thickness to work with. And they come in a five sheet pack. Then we move on to our speciality handcrafted cotton papers. Again, five sheets, eight and a, uh, A4 size beautiful textures in here and they're amazing to work with. You can cut these on all of our paper trimmers as well. Beautiful, beautiful textures. And lots of these are colored on one side and white on the other. So you can make them into any color that you want them to be with that fantastic texture in as well. Then we move on to our 2019 trends. So we start with that dreaming color. We've got new texture cardstocks, new mirrors, uh, new uh, speciality papers and glitter cardstocks. Then we're gonna move into Woodland Walk later into the year. And we're gonna go into these trends in more details later in the tour. Then we're gonna go into Merry and Bright with your fun, funky fashion Christmas. And then we're gonna move into Blue Blossom. Look at those gorgeous blues and pinks. Then we're gonna move into pearlescent cardstock, 92 pound, eight and a half by 11. Beautiful shimmer in there. And there's so much you can do with it because it's a really nice weight to work with. Uh, a beautiful rainbow again. We also have a selection down the bottom there of the ultra smooth, which is fantastic for working with alcohol markers. Gives you perfect blending every time. And also great for your card bases. We've got brown craft, craft cardstock, watercolor card, and new gray board. I can't wait to show you that. It's great for mixed media projects and things that you need a little little bit thicker for. Then we move over to that foiled craft card uh, where we've got down the bottom there the rose gold hearts, we've got uh, rose gold triangles, silver stripes, golden polka dots, all sorts of fun designs there. Uh, we've got metal sheets, actual aluminium foil sheets. I uh, can't wait to show you those. You can alcohol ink on them, you can die cut them. Amazing techniques that we're gonna have. We can stamp on them with archival inks. And then we move up to our glitter cards. Now you know how much I love working with these because we can die cut them seamlessly. Um, and they have this beautiful rainbow as well. And they just add that little bit of pizzazz. And of course they're a mess free way of working with glitter because there's no shedding on there at all. And then finally, we move over to mirror cards, a huge rainbow, one of the biggest rainbows. Again, we can alcohol ink on them, we can die cut them, we can use them for our matting, we can use them for all sorts of fun things. And they come in mirror and satin finishes as well in a nice 92 pound weight, so they're really sturdy for our card making. So here we have more of the great Craft Perfect products and we start with the Redline Adhesive. Now, these are great for working with glitters or if you need something a little bit stronger in the tape line, these are great because they'll really hold on to metal, chipboard, all those kinds of things. We've got the double-sided tissue tape, dimensional foam, and these new watercolor cards. And these come in pads for A2 card front size pieces and eight and a half by 11, as well as A6 size sheets. So these are really great um, for us card makers. And if you wanna do something a little bit larger as well, these are those metal sheets I was telling you about. So they're gonna come in five sheets. And you can see here, they've got a little bit of flex in them, which means we can die cut them, but they are actual metal. I've had really good fun at playing with these and demoing with them on the booth. I can't wait to be able to take some home with me. Then we're gonna move on to the Craft Perfect paper pads. So you know those amazing papers we love? Well, you don't have to necessarily now buy whole packs if you just wanted to try some out. We've got Festive Lights, Moonlight Rose, December Skies, Autumn Maple, Mint Blush, Black and Gold, Silver Jubilee, The Blue Blossom, Woodland Walk, Merry and Bright, and Dream in Color paper packs all coming your way with selections of those beautiful papers and also some designer series papers in the trends are coming as well for the first time. So double-sided patterned papers for our trends. And these ones up here are selections from those speciality papers as well. So these are six by six pads that give you some nice selections and you get four colors, six of each color to so give you that little bit of sampling and they're perfect for your card making. 
Down here we have some packs of our regular Craft Perfect papers, speciality papers, foiled craft papers. I mean, those foiled papers are just absolutely beautiful. Look at all of that amazing shimmer and shine in there. You can just imagine using this as a card base or matting a card on there. They are gonna look absolutely beautiful. So Dreaming Colour is going to be our first trend available February 1st and it's got some beautiful pastel colours on it. Now this here on the board gives you an overview of everything that's included in this trend. So we have some new Nouveau drops, we have this beautiful uh, calming apple and pink orchid, we have some uh, new glitter drops and we also have a new jewel drop for you. We have some pure sheen glitter, these beautiful quartz triangles, peach circles, which I've absolutely been in love with crafting, and silver rain sequins that actually have these lines in them that give the effect of rain. We've got two new mousses, we have two new embossing powders, new mica mist, a beautiful shimmer powder with so many different shades in, and glitter accents. Now I'm gonna be doing full reviews of everything, so don't worry, you will get to see them up close here on Hedgehog Hollow. We've got new ink pads in the hybrid inks, we have new liquid watercolors, new alcohol markers, and a glitter marker as well, and you know those glitter markers work on black and white cardstock. New holographic mirror card, let me see if I can pick this up. You can see, can you see how awesome that holographic is as well? We've got textured cardstock, mirror cardstock, pearlescent, a most amazing glitter card as well. We have this speciality paper that I love. I think this looks like those kind of prisms because yes, it's got the texture in it, but nowhere near as much as it actually looks like. You can almost look into this paper. We have speciality card in two different textures. We also have our first double-sided pattern paper as well. So, so much going on in this first trend release. It's gonna be available February 1st. And there's also some little lights down here you might be able to see at the front that I decorated one of everything from this new trend release, and I absolutely love them, these little heart lights from Ikea. And then they'd be fun to do for a children's bedroom or for your craft room. So Woodland Walk will be our second trend available in April. And this is a more rustic kind of trend, but I really do love some of these warmer colors. Again, we've got new crystal drops, we've got jewel drops. We have these beautiful glimmer papers, shimmer and glitter papers again. We have butterfly sequins. I mean, how amazing are these? Can't wait to play with those. Again, we've got more sequins for you. We actually have a truffle mousse. Now I was playing with that. You are going to love playing with that too. We have more embossing powders. We have a new glimmer paste for you. More mica mist. This shimmer powder is amazing. Now you might see browns and greens and think, mm, I'm not sure. Wait till you play with them. You can use them with so many things. They are complementary colors to so many of our favorite things. We've got more ink pads, more Aquaflow pens. We have alcohol marker pens, more mirrored and textured cardstock. This speciality wood grain paper has become one of my favorites already. We also have more speciality papers as well. And I haven't even got on to some of the new speciality Nouveau drops I'm going to be showing you later in this booth tour. So our third trend will be Merry and Bright. So it's a really fashionable Christmas, but it also has some of those classic colors in it. And you can see here how much fun this is going to be. So this will be available in July. And again, we've got Nouveau drops, we have jewel drops, and we've got glitter drops. More confetti for you, more glitter, and of course those amazing sequins we all love. We've got more mousses, we're gonna have embossing powders, more of those amazing mica mists, and of course glimmer paste, because who doesn't love to work with some glimmer paste? Shimmer powders, which are my new favorite thing to be working with, more hybrid inks, and a beautiful gray, which is perfect for no line coloring. Merry and bright Aquaflow pens, those liquid watercolors, alcohol markers in those perfect blending trios, and a glitter marker, and don't forget, they work on black and white cardstock. We've got the uh, classic card, which is the double-sided, textured and plain. We've got high gloss in the matte uh, finish. We've also got more of those foil craft. We've got glitter and we've got textured card stocks and more of that beautiful designer paper. And then we move into, I think, what is my favorite trend for this year, although it's really hard to choose. We've got Blue Blossom. So this is going to be available in September. And this is all about the pinks and blues. And I am a pink girl. So again, we've got beautiful, beautiful shimmering pearl drops. And this one, I kind of feel like it's marbled. It kind of has a pink and a purple marble to it. So we have two more crystal drops, a glitter drop and a jewel drop, more sequins, and these are shapes. So we have a heart and we have rose shells. These are stunning. 
we have glitters and we have sequins, but these sequins again are shaped like flowers. We've got mousses and we have a glitter paste in a strawberry glaze. We have embossing powders, we have mist, we have more glitter accents, and of course my favorite uh, shimmer powders in here. Hybrid inks, liquid watercolors, and more of those blending trios for you. Another glitter marker, the most beautiful speciality paper. I've had so much fun playing with this one already. Glitter cardstock in this blue that kind of shimmers white and silver. It's gonna be perfect for your Christmas cards as well. And then we have more mirrored, textured, and foil craft cardstock, and of course, more pattern papers for you. So for all us Nouveau Drop lovers, we've also put Nouveau Drops into packs. So we've put together packs that work perfectly together uh, with glitter drops, glow drops, um, vintage drops, jewel drops, and also in the sequins as well. So there's glitters, sequins, all of those things, we put them together because that's what you've been asking for, is to be able to have sets that work perfectly together and then you can collect your Nouveau Drops that way. So lots of new things to show you here on the Nouveau display. And so let's start, so we have our Nouveau drops here and I've shown you all the new Nouveau drops colors. But on the next display, we have some really fun things to show you. So at the bottom here, we have stone drops. Now these are really cool because they have a stony texture as you might imagine. When they dry, they have these kind of gritty um, particles in them that rise to the surface. And when you touch them, they really do feel like pebbles. I think it's kind of cool. I've been playing with these and then you have glacier paste. Well, I've never seen anything like this. This is, I would say, a hybrid between mousse and glitter paste. Um, it has the thickness of glitter paste, but it's not got that gritty glitter uh, texture. It's got the smoothness and the shimmer that we have with mousse. Well, I've had so much fun playing with it. I've never seen so much mica and shimmer in a paste that I've played with. Then we have these new gems, and there's more of them later in this tour, so I'm gonna to get to those in a second. Then we have sparkle sprays. Well, these have so much sparkling. You can see all of the uh, colors over here, and we did some spraying earlier, so you can actually see how much shimmer these have in them there. They've got a silver shimmer, and they have a larger nozzle because they have so much shimmer in them. It's a silver shimmer, amazing. We've had so much fun playing with these in the booth. You've got more glow drops, glitter drops, jewel drops, and I've shown you all of the new colors already. But one thing I haven't shown you are these new uh, dream drops. These are an iridescent uh, drop, and I have had fun playing with these. These, again, work on black and white cardstock, and you can create backgrounds as well as Nouveau drops. So stay tuned for some tutorials coming on that at Hedgehog Hollow very soon. You saw the vintage drops launch at the Mixed Media event earlier in, um, well, actually it was last year now. And then the expanding moves that you know we've had so much fun playing with here at Hedgehog Hollow. Then we have our Nouveau Gems. So these are a selection of new gems. They're all flat backed for us card makers and scrapbookers and mixed media artists. Each of the gems come in three different sizes. So inside of there you have a selection, which is great because it means we don't have to buy loads of packets. So you have different sizes in them. And we have things like pearl rectangles, we have rose gold triads, we have regular gems, we have uh, hearts, we've got amethyst squares, beautiful, beautiful things in there. We've got embossing powders. Again, we went through the new colors in the trends. We have pure sheen glitters, the existing colors of sequins, our glitter accents, those sparkle dust, which are microfine glitters, shimmer powders, well, I told you they're my new favorite thing to work with, the embellishment mousse, which we'll be adding to through our trends, those Glimmer Paste and Mica Mist. So these are all our existing colors. If you haven't seen those already, you've had a really nice overview here as well. And you know they're already in my Nouveau wall that you've seen at home as well. So here is an overview of all of our existing Nouveau. So you've got those liquid watercolor pens at the top, our water brushes that you can fill with your own water to do all sorts of techniques that we do, our glitter gloss fill with the silver shimmer and Midas touch fill with that gold shimmer at the top there. You've got all of our blending trios of alcohol markers and you know how much I love these and that price point is amazing because for the price of nearly one Copic, you can get three Nouveau alcohol markers and they come in that blending trio that blend together from light to dark perfectly in one package. Then we have our glitter markers that again, I love these because 
they work on black and white. I mean, how amazing is that? We've got our brush script pens, which are perfect for hand letterers, coloring, all those great things. We have our Nouveau Diamonds. So these are three packs of hybrid ink cubes. Well, you all know why I love hybrid, because we don't have to think what we're going to color in with. And then at the bottom here, we have our stamp cleaner, we have our stamp scrubber, our light mist bottles, my craft spoon. Well, how often do I use that? Every day. My surface sweep, which you know I'm a fan of, and how often do we see Tilly playing with that too? We have our uh, watercolor pencils, and we are going to be adding more sets to that throughout the year as well. And of course, those amazing paintbrushes. So here we have some great new tools and adhesives for you. So these are our existing smooth precision and glue pens, which I use all the time, as you know. We have our embossing marker. Then we have these new tape runners. So we have a solid one and we have a dotted one. So depending what camp you are in, you have an option for both. And then we have these uh, silicone spatulas. Now I've been using these actually for a couple of months. I just haven't been able to show you. And every time I did a video, I had to put them away and I was really upset because I love these so much. These are gonna be a life changer for all of our mediums. They are amazing. So I can't wait to be able to now be able to show you some demos with them. We've redesigned our blender brushes. These are amazing. You know how much I love these already. And we've redesigned the handles on these mini blending brushes as well. We also now have blending daubers with lots and lots of refills. The refills come in 20 pads as well. And also that Nouveau Easy Clean Mat is coming in a 17 by 24 inch size. So it's gonna cover your entire work area, which is gonna be absolutely amazing. So these are our carryover dies for this year. Now these are the butterfly dies, which you see me use a lot. These are so much fun when you alcohol ink them, use glitter papers on them, so many different things. And you can interchange them with either the butterfly bodies or the fairy bodies as well. So there's lots of things you can do with them. We've got all of our basic shapes and they all have this beveled edge as well. So you get a really nice finish on them too. You've got the banners and bunting. You've got the stamps that work with our shakers as well. So they work perfectly too. And then we have our dot and drops that work really well with the Nouveau drops. So these die cut areas, and then they also make markings for where you can add Nouveau drops to them to embellish your cards. So you can add all these amazing flourishes and then add dots of Nouveau to them too. We've got lots and lots of sentiments in varying sizes and also look for card makers. We have this small range of sentiments down here too. So if you just need a little sentiment to pop on your card, you have small die cuts. And then we have our Will's hand range as well. So these are a double sentiment. So you know how much we all love our sentiments, but sometimes we just need them to pop out. So these have our sentiment you can use individually, but then they also have a matted area at the back. So if you want to just pop out and put a piece of black cardstock behind, you have that option where the darker orange is, you can add in some black matting behind and then use a the glitter paper and you can really pop that sentiment out. So that's a nice feature too. You've got two sentiments in one. So these are our new dies. We also have some stamps for you as well. So let's start with our sentiment strip dies. So we have seven of these and they fit all the way across an A2 card, but they also have this rounded edge. So if you have something bigger like a scrapbook page or maybe a larger card, then you also have this nice finish and they don't look kind of like you just put them in the middle and left them there. Um, you've got that nice finish. And again, they're a double die with that matting behind. So if you need to pop them out, you can absolutely do that. And um, I just really love this kind of style as well. So again, you've got that two dies in one. So we have lots of different occasions for you. We have two boxes up here with lots of different inserts. You've got multiple options for different occasions and you don't have to put the inserts in. If you wanted something plainer or you wanted a stamp on them, you've got those options too. So lots of different things in there as well. Um, and then we have our adorable stamps as well. Um, here as well as so we have sloths and skunks and elephants and hedgehogs of course which I love kittens and a gopher too lots and lots of samples you can see here I really had fun creating some of these too and there's those butterflies I alcohol inked these these are the ones I showed you just now too and I put some of those new gems in them as well then down here, we have our new background dies. And I love working with these, there's six of them. But the great thing is flexibility again. You get two dies in this package. You've got that intricate background piece in the middle, which die cuts really, really nicely. But the edge is separate and the edges are interchangeable with that inside piece. So if you had all six, you've got so many different combinations there. Because if I didn't want that pink edge and I wanted this nice wavy edge, I can interchange those. I could have this really pity kind of Hawaiian inside and I could have this wavy edge. 
I can do that because those two pieces are separate. I love the versatility that Tonic give me. So that's an option I have. Then I have this new beautiful gift bag. I have these two other gift bags here. These are great for either small table favors, to hold gift cards. They're the perfect size. We have our interactive wonderful. So you would pull this tab here and all these leaves open. So whether you wanted to put lots of messages in, if you wanted to put fun um, colored images in, or maybe like a memory book style card. We have this new movie strip here as well. And we also have these tabs to either put in the books or if you're a planner, these are the perfect little tabs or sort of like paper clips that you can put in your planners too. And speaking of memory books, we of course have our memory book builders that we've brought over to the US by. So many of you asked for them that we had to bring them over. So the first ones are launching here as well. So they're here. Then we have some more boxes. Again, lots of interchangeable pieces to customize down the bottom there. Our gingerbread house, aren't they just the sweetest? I recently did this for the Tonic magazine. Again, I customized it for a new home. It does not have to be a Christmas gingerbread house at all. Lots of options for you. And again, another one of those beautiful boxes. I love these curved sides and they're so easy because everything is scored. I just ran it through my die cutting machine and it popped together in about two minutes, a little touch of a deluxe adhesive and I was ready to go. So this is our final panel of dies and here we have some more of the memory bookmakers. So up here we have our keepsake bookmaker. This is the base of the bookmaker. So this makes the spine, which means the spine is completely customizable. And you can see some amazing samples up here. But what it means is you can make them any size you want. So if you want to just send the journal with lots and lots of pages, you can have a really thick spine like this one here. Or similarly, you can have one like this that has a really thin spine. So again, we love customization here at Tonic. We want things to be flexible. So then you also have that memory bookmaker. This is a slightly smaller version. So you've got lots of different options. Then we move into the Rococo fairies. Lots and lots of fun things you can do here. You can add all those glitter paste and glitter papers. You can die cut them, customize them. Think of those new sparkle sprays as well. Then we move into new babies. And then we have our music collections as well. And then we also have some fun pet collections down here too. We're also going back to stencils because think of all of those fab mediums we've shown you as well. And the stencils, we've done something a little bit different too. So on our stencils here, we have a tab. And that tab means that when you pick up that stencil after you put your medium on and it's all sticky, they can be a little bit hard to pick up, but that tab, you're just gonna be able to pick it straight up and off you go, which means it's really, really easy to use. So here we have all of our tonic tools and up here we have our new precision glide folder. So this is a Teflon bone folder. Now you all know I'm a recent convert to the whole Teflon bone folder market and I think these are amazing. So I'm really thrilled that we're gonna have a tonic one as well because you know I love my tonic tools. We have left-handed scissors, right-handed scissors, those nice cushion grips in there as well. We have our decoupage scissors, our spring scissors, so many different variations. Depending what you like to work with, we have our fabric shears as well. We also have a new precision rotary cutter as well, as well as stamp blocks. And these allow you to really get your fingers in there to give pressure inside of there as well. We have our large guillotine as well. And if you prefer a trimmer where you can kind of move the blade up and down, we have that option for you as well. We also have super compact trimmers down here too. Uh, this is our other glass mat. This is our white glass mat, uh, great for glue guns and things like that too. So that's there for you. And these are storage packets. So this is our medium ring binder for dies. And you can see in here you have magnetic sheets and little plastic storage pockets where you can put things inside and it holds your dies perfectly. Look at those background dies I was telling you about. Those two pieces, it's gonna hold them in there nice and snug. And then we also have a larger version for those really big dies as well. A nice zip on the edge and it has that package on there for you as well. So they all fit in there perfectly. We also have these new luxury storage drawers and these are brand new. So you can see here, these are perfect for storing all of your tonic mediums. The drawers slide in and out perfectly for you and you've got them in different sizes. So you can store your mousses in here. You can store all of your uh, Nouveau products in here and these are going to be great for storing all of our craft items. 
We also have these new great tonic storage trays. So we also have these dividers that are going to go in there. They're going to go straight in. They slot in like this. They're then going to have these storage sleeves and these plastic index dividers that are going to go straight in. They're going to allow you to label. We have a label system that's going to go in here. It's going to separate all of those stamps and dies that we all struggle so much to find that perfect storage for. So we also have some new Tim Holtz scissors for you. So we have a six inch and we have a five inch size as well. These are fantastic. And aren't these tins beautiful that they come in with these vintage rulers on as well. They're super sharp. They're amazing for all your haberdashery. Cutting your ribbon is gonna be a cinch. And I always recommend having a separate pair of ribbon scissors in your craft room to cut ribbon. I never cut paper and fabric and things with the same scissors. I've been using these in the craft room. I love them so much. You're gonna want a pair of these for your ribbon, your twine, all those kinds of fabric things that you cut in your craft room as well. So this is our other Tim Holtz wool. So this has all of our existing Tim Holtz products on it. We have our nine and a half inch shears. We have our seven inch and our five inch. Now you know how much I rave about these. Of course, the paper distresser. Now Greg got to use one of these in his class and he loved it. He was passing it around. He was telling people all about it. You should go check out that video. Check that top right hand corner for the video of Greg doing his packing for creativation. He is now quite the pro. Uh, we have our media tools there, which goes of course with that media mat. And these are your replacement non-stick mats. I have a few around the Room. and it is handy to have a couple around when you're doing projects. We have the retractable craft pick and the craft knife as well and we down here we have our mini rotary cutter and our perforator. Again I don't use these that much but sometimes they're just the perfect tool for the job and I'm a fan of having lots of tools. I have drawers and drawers of tools. I love having my tools around. Then we have our two paper trimmers. Now again, Greg bought his paper trimmer. He was passing it around class and he was telling people all about this trimmer. He is very opinionated on his craft supplies now. I can't wait to do a video and we get back with him. And then we have our maxi trimmer down here as well. So if you want to cut anything up to eight and a half by 11, you can cut it with this. If you want to cut something a little bit larger, this cuts up to 12 and a quarter as well. So finally, Tonic has something new and fun for us, and that is craft luggage. So when we go to crops, when we go to all sorts of things, they have something for us to put our supplies in. And actually, do you know what? I really like this just to travel with. So it has two pieces here. This is the top piece. So it has lots and lots, it opens wide. Look how wide that opens. It has a shoulder strap option for us as well. It has padded pockets and you can fit 12 by 12 papers in it. This piece comes off and it also has a pocket that slides all the way down onto this piece on the back. And then this opens wide. We've got this front pocket here as well. This piece opens here. And then this opens as well. Again, opens really wide. You can fit die cutters in here. Lots and lots of pockets on the inside. And then when we're ready to go, this slides on as well. Now, right now it's the end of the show. So it's time for me to go home. I think I'm gonna take this with me. So I'm off, bye.